Welcome to part 4 of the video series on Bug Boost Converter BBC01. Today we will perform maximum power point tracking experiment to charge a 12 volt battery under indoor conditions. This is the solar panel with incandescent lamp setup. The positive output of the solar panel is connected to the Bug Boost Converter module through this switch. Here is the Bug Boost Converter module. This is Arduino microcontroller. All the data are displayed on this LCD display. This is input side current sensor and this one is output side current sensor. This switch is used to turn the lamp load on and off. We have also connected this 12 volt 5 ampere hour battery and two 12 volt 9 watt lamps. You can see the details on the LCD display. The first row shows the solar voltage, solar current and solar power. Next line shows the battery voltage and battery current. This is the PWM duty cycle value. And the last line shows the load status, on or off. This switch controls the on and off condition of the load. The status of the load can be seen here. This is the circuit diagram for the overall experimental prototype. This is the Arduino program. These lines of code helps to read input and output side voltage and current values. A lead acid battery is charged in three stages. Bulk stage, absorption stage and float stage. If the battery voltage is below 13.5 volts, the battery is charged using perturb and observe MPPT technique. This is called bulk charging stage. Next, if the battery voltage is above 14.5 volts, a constant absorption voltage of 15.5 volts is maintained. Finally, these lines implement the float charge if the charging current becomes less than 0.2 amperes. Under float charge stage, a constant module output voltage of 14.5 volts is maintained. So now we start the experiment. Firstly switch on the lamps above the solar panel. And then power up the module from the solar output. These are the data on the serial monitor. Here we have input solar voltage, input solar current, input power, duty cycle value, module output voltage, output current, battery voltage and finally the charging stage. Similar reading can also be observed on the LCD display. The duty cycle value increases as per perturb and observe MPPT technique. And the battery starts getting charged. Now as the battery voltage becomes more than 14.5 volts, the charging stage changes from bulk to absorption stage. If we turn on the load using the switch, the charging current value decreases. After a while when the charging current becomes less than 0.2 amperes, the charging stage shifts to float stage. In the next video, we will perform similar experiment under outdoor conditions thank you for watching the video by link is in description